David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 3303 solids. We're reviewing a recent test, and here we have two problems, one a multiple choice involving, and it's titled transverse shear. So let's look at this one first. Um, Whenever I see these titles, I like to go to the equation sheet and find the applicable formulas, which kind of gets my brain going in the right direction. Transverse shear is tau is, is shear stress, and I'm asked for that right down here. Tau, there's two kinds of straight line shear stress. Tau average, average shear stress, V over A, which I'm usually not dealing with, especially when I'm dealing with a beam. And when I'm told transverse shear, I should go directly to the formula sheet and write down tau is VQ over IT. So I got four numbers to add, uh, combine to give me that shear stress. Okay, V is the shear force. Q is the tricky one. Q is a geometric property. It's the first moment of area. And it's defined as y bar prime a prime, where y bar prime is the perpendicular distance, the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of a prime, which is that next number. A prime, in that formula for q, is... There's different ways of saying it, but I try to say it as concisely as I can as the area away from the neutral axis in a at the point where I'm calculating tau, the shear stress. So we'll illustrate what that means over here. Back to this tau is equal to VQ over IT formula. I is on the bottom here, moment of inertia. T is the width or the thickness. I'm liking the word width more. Width of the cross section, the total width, at the point where I'm taking the shear stress, point where I'm calculating tau. So we'll talk about that more as we develop the problem and solve it. Uh, the trickiest thing on these things is Q. So I'm asked to calculate the transverse shear stress at point A. Well, there's point A. And I want to draw a line on my cross section through point A parallel to the neutral axis and then figure A prime and Y bar prime. Okay, so that is a line through the point where I'm trying to take the shear stress. So A prime is the distance away from, I mean the area away from the neutral axis at the point where I'm calculating tau. So it's going to be the area of this triangle part of this shape. So that's A prime. And A prime is just equal to the area of that triangle. It's one half base times height. One half base is seven. The height is five. Seventeen point five square inches. Y bar prime is the distance from the neutral axis to that point. So I'm given that the neutral axis is right here. 8.67 inches from the tip. So I want to locate the centroid of the triangle, put a little cross there. And then I want to know the distance from the neutral axis to that point, and that is y bar prime. So just need to do some geometry, y bar prime. The total distance from the neutral axis to this point B is 8.67 inches. From that, I can one way is to get there is to subtract that distance right there from the tip 
of the triangle to its centroid. Well, that's two-thirds of its height. So that distance is two-thirds of its overall height, which is 5, or 3.33 inches. So y bar prime is 8.67 minus 3.33 inches, which is equal to um, 5.337 inches. So now I get Q just by multiplying those two numbers together. So Q is 5.337 Y bar prime times A prime, which is 17.5. And I get 43 point, no I don't. I get 93.39 or 93.4. My units are inches squared times inches, so it's inches cubed. So that's a very important number for me. Now I'm really almost got it. I say tau is equal to VQ over IT. So do it in red. Tau is equal to VQ over IT. Well, V is this shear force, 150 pounds. I mean, kips. That's kips. Q is that number I just figured, 93.39. I is this number given to me of 1230. That's inches to the fourth. Q, of course, is inches cubed. And T is the thickness of the section, the width of the section where I'm calculating the shear stress. So that's just a 7 inches. And I punch my calculator, and I get that that's equal to 1.627. My units are kip inches cubed on the top. So I got kip inches cubed on the top. And I get inches to the fifth on the bottom, inches to the fourth times inches, so that does work out to be kips per square inch, which is what I want. Circle D. Now, question number 18 is real easy. Calculate the transverse shear stress at point B. Several ways to look at it. I can say that at B, in the Q calculation, a prime is zero because there's no area away from the neutral axis at the point B where I'm trying to calculate the shear stress. So A prime is zero and therefore Q is zero and therefore tau VQ over IT is zero. So the answer is zero. Circle that one. 